Okay, solving this problem, first thing that we have to look for is time in seconds. And look, from module 3, we have this equation. Xf is equal to Xo plus 1 half Vf minus Vo times time. Okay. So we have two times XF is zero point six zero six meter divided by one hundred meter per second, and the answer is one point two times ten to the negative three seconds. That's your answer for that. Letter B. We have the impulse in Newton seconds is equal to M delta V, which is equal to 0 0.005 kilograms times 100 meters per second minus 0 divided by, oh, that's it, and j, j is equal to 0 0.5 kilograms meter per second or newton second. That, so that's either unit, okay? And then letter C. The force, if we get it from here, this becomes the denominator is J over delta T, which is 0 0.5 Newton seconds divided by, uh, what is the time? 1.2. Times 10 to the negative 3 seconds. This cancels, and the answer is 400 newtons.